just grabbed the blue one out there is a Navy F4U Corsair. Now, looks like we got Mike Rinker. We got a thousand feet now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here he goes to the SU-26. Mike Rinker is on the roll. He is taking off. This is an amazingly powerful airplane as he does some outside pushes, negative G, and works his way up to right at the bottom of the clouds to make sure he's got enough clearance. He will not do his full vertical routine because that would actually take him up to about 3,000 feet above the ground. He told you when he was on the ground it could climb quickly to 4,500 feet. It has a very significant climb rate. It is a Russian-built aircraft. The Sukhoi Su-26 has a nine-cylinder engine of over 360 horsepower. Oh, we're going to come up the street. We're going to talk to him live in the cockpit. Okay, we'll be doing that as soon as, well, I think he probably wants to go now. Hey, Mike, can you hear me, uh, buddy? Yeah, I got you loud and clear. Right about here, buddy. I got you loud and clear, buddy. Uh, I guess you're going to do kind of a flat show, but I'm glad you got airborne. Now, your airplane is a little bit different than the others because I was starting to tell people this nine-cylinder engine, it actually turns the opposite direction of, uh, of American-built engines, doesn't it? That's correct, it does. Turn that to switch left rotor instead of right rotor on that car. <laughs> to counteract that torque, when you do a hammerhead, you push hard on the right rudder pedal, right? Okay. All right, what have you got for us, Mike? Sounds good. Four points. If you look carefully, 
He's got to work the rudder real carefully so he doesn't sink when he gets into that knife edge. That was 90 degrees. Every 90 degrees he stopped. This is every 45 degrees he'll stop when the eight point has to take right the every point. And he has to work the rudder so he keeps the line straight across the line. Right on top rudder, pushing the stick forward now. Another 45 degrees, side five, knife edge, side six, top rudder, side seven, and side eight. How about a nice round of applause for Mike Drinker? Yeah, that nice job. That was good. Hey, can you come back through and do a real fast four point? Yes, I can. I'll do a fast four point. I'll show you a slow roll of the fast roll. How about that? That sounds good. We'll watch for it. We'll get a chance to see this almost 400 degree roll rate of this uh, Sukhoi. Alright, we're going to do a four point and then we do a four roll. Alright, watch for the four point. This will be a little faster this time. Get some lined up. Watch those. One, two, three. Isn't that fun? Whoa, look at that. Quick roll. Over 400 degrees per second. Yeah, I wish I had my mother-in-law up there with you right about now. Yeah, uh, We're going to do a photo pass around. We're going to do a knife edge pass. And we're going to be finished after that. But we'll appreciate everyone coming out. We've had a blast. Hopefully we'll get a better weather tomorrow. But we're really glad that we can tell you what this airplane can do. And, and one more time, we need to be thinking about all those people who are... Uh, Yes, for everybody, and uh, I know it's important to you. Okay, there's knife edge flight. A lot of top rudder, a lot of right rudder. 90 degrees of bank. Looks good, buddy. Right across the line. 360 horsepower. We'll come back the other way around, and we'll come back in later. Roger that. We'll catch you when you get on the ground, buddy. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. You betcha, sir. All right, we're going to get him back on the ground, and I have seen something that I didn't think we were going to see. Here comes the photo pass. Again, knife edge flight the other way. And I've got two airplanes on the runway that I did not expect to see. I thought we were going to maybe see some low passes by the F4U Corsair, but I see the Super Hornet down there. We're going to make a try, right, boss? Our Air Boss Louis Cedillo is over here just making sure that uh, we've got the ceilings necessary. The tower has instantaneous reporting capability of what the ceilings are, and that's why we were able to launch Michael, because in just the course of just about a minute and a half, we went from 900 to over 1,000 feet of, uh, of ceiling, and it looks like we're going to be able to put the Super Hornet up and the F4U Corsair. The F4U Corsair you saw taxi by, it was the blue aircraft that uh, was going by just before Mike Rinker took off. And the F4U was one of the premier aircraft of all of World War II, and like the P-51 Mustang, saw service in Korea. Actually, as I recall, actually shot down a MiG jet, a swept wing MiG, uh, during the Korean conflict. The F4U Corsair, built by Vaught and also built by by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, was known as the F4U by Vaughn and the FG1 by the, uh, by the Goodyear Company.